There's an epidemic facing the world. And no, it's not coronavirus. It feeds through anxious and broken people. And the symptoms are anxiety, depression, physical troubles, general toxicity, and more. The disease's name? Social media. Social media is overrated due to a multitude of factors, with each one contributing to the toxic environment created by it. Some of these factors include the physical and mental effects and burdens of social media on people, as well as the factors of information theft and content platforms not getting the credit that they deserve. Social media is overused so much now that many apps have lost their fame and popularity due to others rising up, but some deserve more than to be forgotten. A very surprising fact is that um, on many social media platforms like Twitter or Instagram, um, the people um, who have the most followers, hundreds and thousands of them, those followers or likes on their pictures can actually be bought for pretty cheap and um, they can even be hacked into if they're like hackers. Um, so basically the amount of followers a person has or the amount of likes their picture has does not fully account for how popular they actually are or how many people they know because they can be fake. Um, some apps that haven't gotten the credit they deserve um, are Pinterest. It is probably the most underrated catalyst for e-commerce in this virtual world and other apps would be SlideShare. It has instant SERP result um, status, uh, which is search engine result page. Um, it has great content for any marketing topics, so not just common people, many like people in the business world or businessmen can use it for any tips because everyone's sharing all over the world. And it has the easiest share functionality known to social. See, something like this is very um, surprising to me young adult um, in the 21st centuries of our and um, many apps like this have lost their fame and something like this would be so useful to us but it's just not that popular so many of us don't know about it.